Marriage counseling is gynocentric, meaning the dominant focus is on the interest and perception of women. Marriage counseling and, and, and therapists have a gender bias toward women. So the problem for good men when you go to couples counseling is that the therapist is already trained and indoctr indoctrinated into a gender bias to provide preferential treatment toward women and have a prejudice against the good men that I have talked to. That has been their experience in couples counseling. Over the years and working with women in marriage and relationships for almost 10 years, I have been trained, <laughs> very strongly trained by my mentor to never believe a woman's story in her marriage. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I have gotten sucked into a woman's story because we are, are so convincing. We are so manipulative. We know how to dramatize and, and exaggerate the circumstances and experiences in the marriage to suck someone in, to feel sorry for us, to validate us in our victim story. And have, have even really no awareness to question that story from a woman and, and try to understand, well, what what would the, the husband say or what what's his experience? So what's his side of the story? We are so convincing. And I've also had the pleasure over the years where I've worked with a woman. She has a, a strong story of her husband and how he can be aggressive or controlling and a narcissist. And she paints this story. And then I've had the pleasure to actually meet her husband. I meet them and it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she has has the story of this man because they're they're the typical good man, just loves their wife is caring, is confused about how they're always wrong and can't be right. And when I meet the husband, it doesn't add up at all with the woman's story of him. So men, if you go to couples counseling and you are dragged to couples counseling, your best shot is working with a male therapist.